Hi guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah, and today we are doing another fashion haul because I have a problem. If you do not know what Miss Lola is, it is an online boutique that is just full of these really beautiful, just statement pieces that you can add into your closet, and I would definitely describe their their prices as mid-range. You're definitely not spending $12 on a shirt like you would on Shein, but you're not spending $100 like you would on, you know, ASOS or any of the more expensive sites. I did purchase a few pieces. This isn't going to be a massive haul, but it is going to be a haul of pieces that I saw and really, really did fall in love with. Everything will be listed down below in the description box, so if you guys love any of these pieces, please make sure you go check them out. A lot of them did come in other colors, so if maybe this isn't the best color for you, there are other options. So make sure that you guys do check that out. I will also list my sizing reference, so if you guys want to know what my sizing is and kind of base your sizing off of that, make sure that you guys do check that out. Also, make sure that you guys do subscribe, comment down below what you guys want to see next, and let's go ahead and get into this haul. First piece that I want to talk about is this lace bodysuit right here. It is the most sexy bodysuit that I think I will ever own in my closet. They did have this in different colors, but the black just spoke to me. Black is like my soul color, so I had to have her. I do really, really like this. This bodysuit did retail for $33.99. It is a very nice quality bodysuit. It is so freaking tight, and there's not a whole lot of stretch to it. That I could probably, you know, appreciate a little bit more elastic or a little bit more something in the actual fabric. There is a underwire cup in here. I feel like the cups are a little bit too spread out where it almost like my boobs kind of fall to the side. And then if you are a bigger bust girl, this definitely isn't going to fit you. I did purchase this in a size small. I feel like I could have gone with a medium, but I feel like if I would have went with a medium, then the cups would have been too big. I just feel like the fitting overall is just a little bit strange for the price that I paid for it. And then the entire bodysuit is actually completely sheer. So you have to wear a bra with it or at least some sort of pasty just to cover up or keep some modesty or not. Whatever you feel more comfortable with, girl, you do you. But I feel like online they did have it a little misleading that the cups were lined. They are double lined, but there is still definitely some sheerness like you can see, but it is so sexy. It is so cute. I feel like this going out when we eventually can will be so cute, even if I just put like a basic black bra underneath it. And then the actual bottom part of this bodysuit is a thong, which I can appreciate. Nothing worse than when you get a bodysuit that's not a thong because I don't want underwear lines in like a high-waisted skirt or anything like that. That's just ain't it for me. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and talk about this really beautiful emerald green top. Emerald? This is an emerald green. This is olive green. This really beautiful olive green top. Let me pull it up in my email. I should just have this automatically, but I'm not organized, so... This is the Lover of Mine top in the shade Olive, and then I did purchase this in a size small as well. It is this ruched bodice that you can actually pull this cord, tie it up, you can make it really, really sexy at the top, or if you want to actually loosen this and pull this down, it is more of a full coverage top if you don't want so much midriff showing or so much cleavage. It's really, really versatile. There's a lot of stretch in this, and then the entire actual, like, collar... I guess you would call it a collar, is elastic. The sleeves are this really just nice, breathable, sheer, let's say what it is, polyester. And then the actual bodice itself, where it is all ruched, is double-lined, and it's just all around a really, really nice top. This top itself... Again, I should just have the email up and ready, but what do I know? This top itself actually did retail for $35.99, and then everything in this haul I did purchase for 30% off because that is the actual, like, deal that they're running on the website, which is super amazing. I like this. I feel like this is going to be a really good top where if I want to wear it out with a pair of shorts in the summer and have it cropped and really sexy, I can have that. Or if I want to wear this to a family event, wear it with some pants, like high-waisted jeans, I can also do that. So I really like that you can style this in so many different ways. And the color with my red hair is just so flattering and beautiful. And honestly, who doesn't look good in olive green? I feel like olive green is one of those colors that just so many people thrive in. But I feel like a lot of people are just really afraid to actually wear. Not a lot of people love color, which is like, how do you not love color, you know? 
Wait, actually, I get that because I don't really love color. Speaking of color, I also picked up this top as well. She is a little bit of an 80s vibe. I don't hate it, but I don't know if I love it. The actual sleeve is this really sheer, beautiful polka dot lace and this minty, just fluorescent, beautiful, like this with my tan. Ugh, so gorgeous. It does have this Mm, I could do without this. This is my least favorite part about this top, but it does have this satin sleeve, like the satin bell sleeve. I don't have anything against the bell sleeve, but I could do without the satin on the bell sleeve. To me, that feels a little cheap, if you want my honest opinion, but I do like that it adds a little bit more texture to this shirt, that the lace is kind of overtaking. The actual bodice itself is this just really nice ruched. Again, you have the same fabric and then it is completely double lined, so you're not getting any see-through-ness. And then it has this really just gorgeous zipper. Now, it's not a good quality zipper, but on the back, it just adds a little bit something. It makes the top feel a little bit more classy. This retails for $35.99. I feel like all of the tops on this website did range anywhere between the $30 and like $40 range, but they are very well made. It's not a cheap fabric. There's no loose strings like this compared to like my misguided. The fit is way, way better. Even like my Shein stuff, girl, get out of my closet because this stuff is so nice. But, but, the fit is a little bit much. I don't really love the fit on this top. I feel like the top where like my boobs go, my breasts, my lady bits, whatever you want to call it. I don't feel like the fit is very good. I feel like it's a little bit loose compared to the black bodysuit where I feel like my itty bitties don't really fit in it. So that part is a little bit weird considering these are both a size small, but I like that this top as well as the emerald top you can wear off the shoulder. And again, in all my inserts, I will show all of the ways that I would style this and wear this top or these tops in general. I do really like it but I could do without the actual, like, not having enough cleavage to fill it out, but that's more of a me problem than a you problem. And not only that, too, but that is going to be more of a spring shirt for me, so I'm going to have her, I'm going to save her, and I'm going to love her, but we're not going to wear her for a while, you know, moving along. So then, online, I wanted to purchase a little bit more of a cozy sweater because in Wisconsin it gets cold you know? So I did purchase this Motivated AF sweater, sweater, sweatshirt, sweatshirt, this crew neck sweatshirt. It is such a soft and like well made and it's just such a good fit. And I love the way that the model actually styled it with these cute biker shorts. So of course, you know, I had to put my black biker shorts with it. This is going to be something that I can change in and out of my scrubs at work into. I can lounge around in and still feel feminine. I feel like my biggest issue when I'm at home or when I'm going out and I want to feel comfortable is I feel sloppy or I feel overdressed, not comfortable, but like trying to be in that athleisure look. So having a really just nice, good quality sweatshirt to just throw on with a pair of biker shorts, it looks like I'm trying, which I am trying, but I'm still comfortable and I still feel like myself. I really like how the model actually styled this, so I felt like, girl, I got them biker shorts, I want to buy this, and this color, same thing, I just feel like it's just an all-around a really beautiful color for, you know, any month of the year, especially when we're going into fall, this nude tone with a with a good just spray tan, my hair up in a little messy bun is going to be perfect. So I die, I love, I live for that moment. Let's get into the accessories because I have one more outfit to show you. And then I do believe, before I get too off track, the sweatshirt retailed for $39.99. Okay, I did pick up a mask because recently I've been trying to pick up a mask at every retailer because I want to feel and see what kind of masks retailers have out there as far as fit goes. I don't love this mask. So I picked up this mask, which is the Never Tamed Face Mask in Leopard, and then I purchased this for $12.99. I definitely have nicer fitting and nicer quality masks that I actually got cheaper for like a bundle of like three or four of them. I think I got five of them for $12.99 at Old Navy and those fit amazing. This one I could do without. I'm not going to put it on just because, well, whatever, I'll put it on. You can see it. It just, it's like way too big. It's not great. 
So this I could do without. Maybe I'll give that to somebody else or I'll just have it on hand. It's never bad to have an extra mask, but that I'm not living for. I also picked up this necklace right here. It did come with an additional chain, which I'm not wearing right now just because I feel like this is such a dainty outfit. I didn't want to overpower it with jewelry. And I have recently been trying to get more into accessories because I don't really wear a whole lot of accessories, if that makes sense. But this is what it looks like. It is the Amelia or Amelia. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it set. And I do believe that I paid $18.99 for it. It is very cute. I love this like just layered chain look. I'm not much of a gold person, but I do really like how this looks. I might take off that little dangly circle charm that I'm not sold on, but I do really like it. And then I also picked up this belt, which is just a really simple gold belt. I wanted this to actually go around my waist, like with my high-waisted jeans, but it is really large, and I think that I got this in a size small. But it is really, really big for a waist belt. I might just wear this, like, I guess with low-rise jeans, even though I don't own any. But, like, it's a big belt. So maybe I'll just cut some holes into it or maybe I'll give it to somebody else. My mom would probably really like this. And I'm not calling my mom large by any means. But she'll like that. I, if I'm not going to wear it, I might as well give it to somebody. Or maybe I'll even sell it. I know there's a lot of people that do that. But it is the Arena belt. And that is a one size. And I got it in black. And that retailed for $13.99. Which for a belt really isn't that badly priced. So we'll cry about it later. And then the last two items that I actually want to talk about with this haul. Which I really didn't get a whole lot of stuff. But I still feel like I spent an arm and a leg. Because it's expensive. Is actually this... This is probably my favorite outfit of the entire haul. It is these really beautiful cream leopard print pants. Love these. The minute I saw these, I was like, yes, into the cart you go. These are so weird, but also so freaking cute at the same time. And then I did get these in a size small, which for reference, if you guys do need my sizes, they will be down below. And then I purchased these pants for $44.99, which is I think the most expensive pair of pants I probably own besides a pair of Levi's, but they are made so well. Again, I love the weirdness of these capris, but they're almost like plaza pants. Do you remember that? If you were born in the 90s, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. But they are plaza pants and they're wide-legged and so quirky and so weird. And then they're high-waisted, but still super, super flattering. I can't wait to wear these pants. Even like with this black bodysuit, it would be super, super cute. With um, a chunky sweater, I feel like these would be really, really cute with. So I love, adore, live, and breathe for those pants. And then I also purchased this bodysuit right here, which is just a plain spaghetti strap straight across bodysuit. It was a little bit more expensive. I believe that online this one retails for $33.99. I know. I know. I have never spent $33.99 on a shirt in my entire life until this very haul. I just like, ugh, the thought of that is so expensive and just outrageous to me. But girl, she is well made. Compared to any of the other bodysuits I've ever purchased on Amazon, she's nice. She's double lined. She's not see-through. Like the worst part when you get a white bodysuit is that they're always, always see-through. It has a really good amount of stretch to it and then it has this really nice thick elastic band around the bust to help keep everything up, which is super nice. I did get this in a size small if I didn't say that already. We like her. We love her. That just pair of pants and that bodysuit and even everything. I feel like this online boutique is definitely more of those stores that are going to give you key, beautiful, unique pieces to throw into your everyday style. Add a little bit of extra something, but you're not breaking the bank trying to do it. Yes, it is a little bit more expensive. However, I would rather pay a little bit more for better quality, better lining, all of that. And I know that it is a smaller store that is located in the United States. So for me, I feel a little bit more comfortable paying for that versus going on Shein and going on Zaffle. I have been really, really trying hard not to purchase from stores like that just because I want to be more open to online boutiques, see what other retailers or other little small stores have. You're never going to walk into Forever 21 and find these pants every single day. I feel like you're going to find the basic pants, which there's nothing wrong with. I love a good basic pant, but I also want something weird and like beautiful, just everyday flowy tops like that has been what I've been living for because with filming it's easy for me to throw on a really nice top and film with it so 
I've been really trying to do that. So if you guys have any other online boutiques, please let me know down below. But other than that, that is it for my haul. I hope that you guys enjoy. I hope that you guys enjoy my channel. Make sure that you guys do subscribe right down below. And I will catch you guys next Sunday, I think for another fashion haul because I can't, I can't contain myself. So I'll see you guys then. Bye guys.